So what we're going to do now is go into our Google Analytics and we're actually going to create our experiment to do our split testing. And if you remember, I uh, created a view earlier into which to put our split test. So I'm going to uh, click on that and then we're going to create our split tests in that view. So I'm just going to go down to um, experiments here under behavior and uh, I'm going to create a new experiment. So let's create our experiment. You can see I've actually created one earlier. So let's create another one. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to call it, um, let's see, we're going to call it how to sign an artwork. And we're going to select an object, a uh, objective for this experiment, a metric, and we want it to be AdSense and AdSense ads clicked. Okay. Now it says here percentage of traffic to experiment. What you can either do is you can make it do 100% of the traffic to that page is experimented with, or you could just say I just want a half of it to be experimented with, and the other other 50% just to be whatever the default page is. Okay. But we're going to do 100% because we want fast results, don't we? Okay, so we've named it, we've set our objective, and we're gonna click on the next step. So the next step is to input our web pages that we want to experiment with. Okay, so I'm just gonna go here. And the, what we wanna do for the first one, we just want the regular page without any uh, split testing. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the URL. This is going to be our original page. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that in there. And it's, and it's and we can give it a name and we're just going to call it original. Okay, and it's gone off and uh, grabbed a picture of that, which is great. So now we're going to enter the variations for our split testing experiment. So if I now stick in here, the var, the CM split equals var one. That's the page, that's our first variation, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to grab that URL and I'm going to stick that in here. I'm going to grab the preview. Great. Okay, so that's variation one taken care of. Now we're going to add another variation. So we're going to get variation two. And we're going to stick that in there. Grabs the preview. Great. And then we're just going to do our last variation. Variation three. Just grab that URL. If you remember, variation three was the one with the ads down the bottom. I'm just going to stick that in there. And it grabs the preview again. And so now we've created all three variations. And what the Google Analytics is going to do with this experiment is switch between all of these different variations for our split test automatically. Isn't that amazing? That's what it's going to do for us. So let's go on to the next step. Okay, so now we've set that up, what we have to do is insert another bit of code into our page. Don't worry about it, I've made this easy for you. So we've set up all our, all our variations and now we need to just grab a piece of code. So I'm just going to grab it and here's the piece of code that we need to grab. So I'm just going to cut and paste that. And I'm going to go out and edit our page. And if we scroll down here, we will see in the click missile box, there's a Google experiment code for this post, which we just pop that in there. Bang. Okay and update.
Okay, so now we've pasted this code into our post. All that's left to do is to finalize and uh, publish the experiment. So let's just uh, go on to the next step. And what we can see now is that Google Analytics is verifying that the code is found in the page. So it's gone off and it's checked it and it said experiment code found, Google Analytics code found, and it's found the Google Analytics code in all three variations. So all that's left for us to do is to start the experiment. Okay, so we started the experiment and our experiment is listed here. So now as people visit that page, Google Analytics will automatically switch between the variations and will record the click through for each variation such that you'll be able to see the percentage of uh, likelihood that that variation is going to outperform the original variation. Now that we've got our Google experiments split test running, let's take a look at what happens to the actual page while the split test is running. If we actually view the source of this page, the HTML code of this page, then you'll see the Google Analytics content experiment code embedded right at the top of the page. And what this does is it actually redirects the visitor to one of our variations of the page for the purpose of split testing and testing where the click throughs are coming from. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm just going to zip into another browser so you can see what happens when it actually does the split test. What it does is it actually redirects using the query string to another version of the page. So you can see that this is the version of the page that's got the advert on the left and that was variation 1. If I just zip to another browser, you'll see I've got another variation, variation 2, running there too. And that had the uh, advert in the middle. I'm just going to go to another browser, and we've got variation 3. Again, Google Analytics has uh, automatically done this uh, switching. And if we just go down to the bottom here, we can see that was variation 3 with the ad at the bottom. Now the reason why I'm showing you the various pages in different browsers is because what the script does, it seems to, um, I think it adds a cookie to the browser so that when a visitor comes to the page, they don't get lots of different variations each time they visit the page. They only ever see the one during one session. So that's what happens when you split test your page or post that you set up with a Google Analytics experiment.